Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Zimbabwe and Netherlands. And I'm recording this at the time of when the, the New Zealand game is still going on. So you understand the frustration if you've seen all of the drop catches. But yes, that's part and parcel. And we hope that the visualization goes on correctly as we go towards the further games. Bilkul, uh, as we keep saying, after this time, you can predict the game right. But hmm. things don't pan out your way. So the key takeaway for you here is how much in it was your fault. No nearly dropping a catch was not your fault. Uh, Alex Hills could have easily been out uh, second ball to ten bolt and the game could have been different if it had Maram batted. So these are all the things that are not in your control. So unless you took a risk on somebody like a Josh but just have the like a Josh Butter, Ken Wilson catch hold Kale, so Allah grandly people. So these are the things that keep happening. Uh, but the best way to is see is it was not your fault as much. So let's go ahead and try and keep the R processes in place. Baki to jo hoga wo dekha jayega Yes, taking it with a pinch of salt. So first up, let's look at venue conditions for the upcoming two games. Both will be played at Adelaide. So Adelaide, both the games expected to be played. There is some weather around. There was also some hail and snowing that happened yesterday. So I don't know if that can disturb conditions in some way. But yes, this is what we have in terms of uh, the dimensions at Adelaide. And here it's mixed up slightly with the square boundaries being shorter and straight boundaries being longer, which is good news for pacers and maybe bad news for spinners. Basically, it could also tell you a bit about how Batters may try and exploit the shorter boundaries, mm. and teams may predominantly still bowl more full, trying to not mm. get hit uh, square. So right. it could still be, you know, in a in a place where you could see a lot more runs being scored as opposed to other games. Uh, mm. The average score here is also higher; it's around 175 since mm. 2018. So, thoda zada hai. Or uh, batting chasing yahan pe view aa sakti hai, shayad. Again, it depends entirely on the conditions that are there at the venue on that mm. day. But uh, Jesse, these two teams, I think our patience will still be back. Yes, bilkul. So, before we look at the base team for this game, let's look at uh, the leaderboards. We know all of you are participating ap- actively, but now is the time for you to make more teams and try and boost your ranks because the matches are moving thick and fast. So, it's important for you to make more teams right now and try and push up your rank towards the price that is next available to you. And I'm sure all of you already joining a good amount of uh, entry fee leagues in the investment leaderboard too. Bilkul, as we said, the base team will be fine. It is the rotations and the luck that is not going the way that you really wanted to. But that is something, again, it's hmm. not in your control. But what is in your control is to make multiple combinations to imagine such scenarios. Okay, okay let's hmm. imagine hills coming <laughs> off and uh, butter not coming off as fluently. So hmm. all these things can be done in the leaderboard. It will help you get a better rank in the game, in this leaderboard, and in the main leaderboard too. So I think वैसे देखें आप तो hopefully आपका अगर return on investment अच्छा है from those rotations. So please continue to do that. Yes, absolutely. Try and make multiple teams. That is what yeah. will be the key. And now let's look at what base team we have prepared for this game. Yep. So this is our base team first up for Zimbabwe versus Netherlands and like you can see here we have backed the keepers, we have the option to take two keepers. Uh, mm-hmm. I, Without any disrespect, no one in the batting section is looking overly reliable so we thought mm-hmm. that keepers might and both these keepers, maybe Chakaba plays one shot too many at points but we know that Scott mm-hmm. Edwards likes to take his time so maybe 15-20 yeah. points easy with the bat and then a few catches. Mm-hmm is what can help and both the batters also that we have taken are the guys who have exhibited form because like we keep saying Ryan Boyle not being used well, Craig Irwin not showing any form up top. Bilkul, dekhe, you can clearly hear the amount of confidence you have uh, we have in the batters. It is why we keep backing bowlers and all-rounders more. Because you keep them in a lot of ways in the game. Mein and uh, one thing that has come through in the last few days is also the incredibly, uh, I'll be very honest, stupid usage of resources. Uh, hmm. Blessing bowling only two overs just because there was hold in the wicket. Blessing is not somebody who's like a part timer uh, hmm. that you should not be bowling. So I think teams suffer due to that. 
but they don't realize it in the heat of the moment that even in the game that happened earlier in the morning uh, today when we had the England uh, New Zealand game, you saw the obsession of wanting to get overs out as opposed mm. to you know Kulbuddin Naik was yeah. bowling, um, um, Omar Zai is bowling, but not Mujib. And when Mujib comes, he strikes. When Rashid comes, he strikes. So I think that is something we'll have to accept with such teams because they're doing it. Even Australia did that with Glenn Maxwell for some reason. So that is something you have to be careful of. But basically, these are games small league. It is not that we promote. We do not do mini jails. Play multi members, multi winners. Play because that is a better way to get something back. Because you should not lose your money because of team doing experiments. So, which is why trying to take guys who are going to be part of key game, key uh, entry points in the game. The max or doubt is same. Medvedev could always anytime bowl, and you would not, not have any clue. Rest hmm. all the batters are grandly options for you. Just maybe Varusha, yeah, right. Uh, right, absolutely. There's no one who you can. There's no real banker in terms of yeah. playing good knocks game after game or anything of that sort. Hence, we have just not looked there too much, and hence we have backed the bowling. Fred Klassen has looked patchy here and there, but we feel like against against Zimbabwe he can come into his own. Paul Van Meekeren bowled very well even against the big teams, and Muzrabani and Grava are being used. And Grava is bowling even at the death, even when Muzrabani is not bowling his quota. So probably. They are giving the most importance to Angrava as a pacer, and hence he features in our team. Yes, and uh, as said, in, in terms of options, you still have Colin Ackerman and others to try out, uh, and you could, you can very well try them out. It is, it is completely mm-hmm. your part. It is just how you think the game will happen. Go ahead. We are trying to back key bowlers and key all rounders uh, because, as I said, rain the chances here. So then, it is best to use resources who are likely to be used by the teams as well. So so far, this is ये आपको थोड़ा common team भी लगेगा, but that's how this game is going to be. It's going to be very tricky for small league. आपका एक differential player, captain vice captain change could really decide whether you are in the winning zone or out of it. Right, absolutely. You will feel like the team is common, but it is actually based on form and based on the yeah. fact that they are actually using only these players actively. Every other player yeah. is coming, going, not being used, being used. So. We have just backed the guys who the who has resources are being used well, and now let's look at what grand league options we have for this game. So I know Nikhil, why all the eleven players who we have not picked are practically grand league options, but tell us who you feel might actually stand out. Yeah, I think you rightly touched upon it. Uh, but still, my two grand league picks for this game. One from Zimbabwe will be Brad Evans. Uh, hmm. I have loved the way he's uh, bowled in this limited amount of time that he has. Uh, he's an impact guy. Hopefully, used well. Uh, hmm. He can contribute as well with the bat. Uh, that is, I'm not expecting a lot of runs, but but with Zimbabwe batting the way they are, I think there is hmm. a role for him to maybe use better. Uh, but again, that's something we can only presume that will happen. And as opposed to the other team. Uh, the Netherlands, I think somebody like a Tom Pringle, a Tim hmm. Pringle. I don't know why I keep calling him Tom Pringle. Uh, Tim Pringle uh, is the guy that I think could be handy. There hmm. are a lot of left-handed batters for Zimbabwe, but they've given they've given their wickets to a lot of okay or decent bowling. And Pringle hmm. still very uh, tidy, and he can also contribute with the bat. So I'm going for Tim Pringle and uh, Brad Evans. Right. Pretty uh, measured picks those because yeah. both of them should get good enough amount of opportunity. My two picks for this game from Netherlands, whoever plays between Brandon Glover or Logan Van Beek, like we mentioned, straight boundaries are longer, so they should yeah. be able to make good use of that. And uh, from uh, Zimbabwe, one more time, Ryan Burl, because yeah. I'm expecting him to use the square boundaries well in terms of his yeah. batting, but whether Zimbabwe use him well or not is. For them to decide. So those are my two picks for this game, and we hope you all enjoyed this preview. Like always, we like being transparent about what's happening. So yes, we just felt like the that there was no, there's no way that that kind of the way we've been making base teams over the last two days. It's important that you don't be hard on yourself because yeah. some catches are being dropped or because there are uncontrollables that are not in your favor. So just move on with the process and. Take it with a pinch of salt. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in. And absolutely, and it it is the same for us as well. 
So you can pretty much see how visibly tired or upset we are with the way things have gone, but there is really nothing we can do about it. So let's keep trying. Happy winnings.